kilos of his stands, 180 centimeters tall, official weight 71.2 kilos. His professional record, 20 victories and 10 defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, he's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu specialist representing the Eucharist from Venia, Kiris Aure Pita. And his opponent, a classic age fighting of the red corner. He's 40 years old. He stands for 180 centimeters tall. He's weighing at 70.45 kilos. Professional record, 36 victories and 7 defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, he's striker specialist representing Ox Russia. Here is Alexander the Tiger Sarnowski. And welcome to the battle brings your referee in charge, Lukas. Lukas Bazowski will take charge of this lightweight contest. Ariel Patia takes on Alexander Sarnavsky. We look at the tail of the tape. Or maybe we don't, <laughs> but we will see. Sarnavsky with more experience. Identical height, pretty much the same reach between the two. Fight. And we are set, we are underway. Patia, blue shorts, blue corner. Sarnavsky, red shorts, red corner. Sarnaski, striking base, a lot of submissions on his record. When I spoke to him before, he said his people try and take me down, and that's what opened it up. Tatia, very, very good on the ground. It's whether he can get it there, Brad. Uh, I was say, there's no secret. He's the one that gets the fight. Oh, that, those three jabs have certainly dug into the bread basket for their work into the uh, the midriff there of Patia. You saw his elbows coming close together. The ball still oh, there's that shot. He got him pretty deep. Single leg. I did set that up, but he, he got magical, got a bit deep. I was pretty surprised, and now he's in here on a single head on the outside. He's at such a powerhouse, Patia. It's a lot of weight to make 155. That's how pushed against the cage because you can see how slick and accurate the striking is of uh, Sarnaski. This yeah. has got to be the round where uh, Patia has the game as well, right? Well, you, you, definitely, you, you saw those lovely body shots here uh, from Alexander. He's got Patia on the game and take that. We can make him desperate. We saw that in the Amikama Dyer fight. Got a little bit desperate. Oh, that oh. Really kicks Doug G. That hurt him. He's still hurt from that. How is he staying standing now? So nasty piling the pressure on. You might see him for a high kick now going up high because you see that Patia is very elbows are down really low trying to protect that body. Oh, it really is it. He has done well to survive this, but Sarnowski is so accurate. And that body work, I don't know whether that's something they highlighted. And this is a point where Sarnowski had a number of his submissions. People shooting in desperately. Yeah, that was a very laboured shot. No drive. No setup either, that's the thing. But he looks like he's keeping those arms pinned to that midriff. You can see the welt there on the rib cage of uh, Patia. Yeah, the first one really, really hurt Brian. And he went back to it again and said, we're going to be bad. Deep breaths now. Almost halfway through this. And look, the impressive thing with Sarnowski is he's throwing single shots, but pretty much connecting with most of them. Yeah, he's a bit more laser like that. A little bit of a bad shot, but he's got there. He went back to the ball and went forward. Oh, that's heavy from Sarnowski. One thing that I'm most hit by is all Oh, Joe, oh. that's a big one. Katia trying to survive. Sarnaski really is putting on a show here today. Yeah, definitely a clear striking clean here, Brian. He's on the left side, he's throwing left jabs, left, high, uh, left kicks. Katia is still in it. Bernie changes around. He's got a torrid three minutes. Katia's doing the right thing. He's actually circling away from that side. But, uh, but, you see what I mean? So I want to see like Alexander maybe start throwing a right hand or a right high kick or, or something like that. You see Petit is always circling the yeah. danger side now from those close with those leg kicks and those jabs is making him circle that way. That body kick connects again. Big breath from Petit. That's a better shot. But look at the reaction from Sarnaski. He sets up the dance and Anaconda from here a number of times. 
Yeah, for me, it's one of those, you got in deep, it's like, oh, wait, like, when I'm coaching that, I hate to see people shoot to two knees, it really stops all your momentum on a shot. If you go to one knee, you go to one knee, and you keep driving forward, and you see later on, there's some, there's, um, I mean, like, uh, uh, the rest of the camera does that beautifully, he has a beautiful drive, where the deer then shot down the two knees, he got stuck there, and you can now just call him a little cut on the right eye of the tear. Oh, and again, that chance is laser like from the sound of the stick. He's trying to get back in the he's just trying to just keep him away. Maybe use some of these strikes, maybe set up a better takedown rather than shooting for so much from the outside. Matia is pleasure to have around, so humble. Just got married, just had a daughter as well. Sarnowski, he kind of rejuvenate this career. So good against Batista, now Batia. Trying to get him to the map. Sarnowski looking strong in this position as well. That was a very good opportunity moment there. Batia to get back. A little bit too late though within this round, and 15 seconds left of work. But this is going to be good mentally for him, isn't it? This is something for the corner to use to rejuvenate, to buoy him back up for that uh, second round. Yeah, indeed. You know, you wouldn't be able to finish in the position. You did going for a nice little Stop. banana split. Tough, tough round there. For Ariel Patia. Sarnowski's got to be happy. Let's, let's first of all praise the striking and the closest shots coming from Sarnowski. Yeah. 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 A number of times it continues to work there. That one connecting with the forearms. Patia surviving this onslaught. But what are the adjustments Patia's got to make now? He needs to try and close the distance a little bit more intelligently and get hold of Alexander and get into the mat as early as he can. So round two sets go underway here at ACA 103 in St. Petersburg. Round two. Yeah, blue corner, Sarnavsky, Reds, they touch gloves. And then throws again. And for him, he's got to keep the momentum right. He can't let Batia try and switch that around. No, he's got to keep doing what he's doing. He's like, he won the first round pretty convincingly. He needs to keep this sort of striking style. Like I say, if I was, I was him, I'll, I'll go back to what he's doing in the first round and maybe do it. Oh. I like the, the, the different timing on the shot there from Batia. Oh, that's another big, heavy kick to the liver there. So, I mean, it's so easy to see that sort of shot. He's shooting from far out, and also he's going, like say, he's saying going, he's going to two knees when he gets in. But sometimes he has good timing. So his timing is getting quite deep, and he's getting in on the legs, but he has no follow through drive because he's going down to two knees. See that two knees? Oh, but somehow he's made that work. Sarnowski trying to get this back to the feet, and he does good reactions. and. Explosion there from Sarnowski. I mean, I mean, not taking away from the team, really good timing, that's why he's getting in with these. But it was letting him down, he, he doesn't have a follow through drive when he gets in the beat. And also giving good. Oh! Sarnowski oh. Giving good credit to Alexander, he also showing some really good takedown defense. Now he's on top, let's see what this is. I see, I feel this where Petit probably gets more mind being. Yeah, able to work on What's the bug with that? Well. What's the bug with that? Let's see what he can set up. Submission expert for Tia. Yeah, I can't be very, very well with giving his hands to Matt here. Tia, particularly dangerous around the neck, and finished the likes of Dowd Shakayev, Sol Rogers as well, and the Razul Yachayev, all by way of guillotine. I don't really get to see him catching from this sort of position. He normally catches him from transitions and stuff. He's very good. He hunts the neck and grabs the neck. Exactly. That, that triangle finish though from Makajiev. Again, that was in the, in, the, in the scramble between the two. Set it up nicely. He's got that finish. Yeah, more action, more action. Most when, when there's no sort of scramble, he, he's very opportunistic. 
see something. Watch it, watch it. Watch it. Don't hit the bug of that. Yeah, yeah. Look at the chase, right? And that guy's trying to make something happen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sarnowski staying heavy on top. The referee's warned them a couple of times. He wants more action than Messi with two minutes, 20 seconds. And they see them back on their feet very shortly. Come on, action. Yeah, come on, so. action. But I'm going to take his guard a little bit here. He also needs to like that. trying to just drop a little bit. I'm trying to get some significant ground pound. The moment they are comfortable just driving his head forward. Nice guard to two. Oh, as soon as he comes in, though, nice shot and angle off by Sarnowski. 50 seconds. That's it. I think Diaz is going to come forward with a little bit more wild and just throw some punches. Oh, again, looking for the shot. Great hips there, but look at the drive from Matia trying to push him against the cage. Yeah, that's what he needed to do. He drove that stuff and kept the gun going to the cage. He really did so. Actually cradling him, trying to turn him over. He's trying to take him up here himself. He's got that under the knee, though, with Ah, oh, OK. Mario Matia. Let go and reattach. Matia trying to get a base under him. Oh, nicely taken back there. One minute to ten seconds left, round two. Matia trying to turn back inside. Could you go for the back here? Last minute or uh, over the second round. <laughs> Little nip <laughs> <neat either. laughs> He's doing his fight in the wrong hand. He's got to fight the top hand, not the bottom. <laughs> Position for a trip. There you go. Takes it to the most nicely done there from the Tiger. Look at his split position here. You see how he's like a step through it. He's in a... that and do that. But yeah, leg split there, and it's really hard for Tia to move. One thing you would say about this is Salmaski's had to work at least in this round as far as energy and efficiency, because there's been quite a bit of grappling in this. He had to fight takedowns. Now he's, he's on the mat in the top position. He's still having to deal with some of that. Tia's strength. Yeah, I think he's got right, listen to me. Don't he he wants to keep the head, okay? You understand? On top. He doesn't want to be on his back. Yeah, he, 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 I want shot down towards it. I'll show you that round with a lot of people. He tried to use that to Бей его сразу, потому что после того, как проход будет вставать, бей его, когда он встает. Проход не получился, он встает и начинает его обрабатывать. And look at the action at the corner there. This is where he caught the kick. Lovely little take down here, but this... Put him in the center of the mat. There's a bit of a stalemate there. But you have to say, so far still, Sarnavsky edging both rounds. Third and final round, five minutes. And there we go, good respect between the two. Five minutes, Aaron Patia switched the momentum of this fight. Sarnavsky, red corner, Patia, blue. If you've watched the, uh, the body kicks that Patia had to take and endure in that first round, it would be amazing to survive this long, but there's such hearts of determination in this young man. I was just about to say that, Brian, it's testament to him that he's still here. He's still fine, still looking for ways to win. He's putting some pressure as in cutting the cage up against Sarnavsky now. Maybe, maybe he can wear that gas tank where sarnavsky has been so good in every position tonight. Yeah, maybe he's going to try and get a takedown against the cage. Oh, and that is it. As he went and charged in, Sarnavsky unleashed the right hand, connected with Aro Patia and lifted him off his feet, bang! What a beautiful overhand right and just a walk-off finish. And that's a devastating KO. We were looking at maybe Patia trying to grow into that fight. Use the uh, third round to try and switch the momentum. But just as we said that, Sarnavsky once again connects with a beautiful 
overhand right to get the finish, Brad. Yeah, but he was doing the right thing. He, was, uh, he had to come forward. I feel like he was behind the scorecards. He had to come forward. And obviously, Alexander was just, just perfectly timed overhand right. You see here. Oh. And like I say, he knew, he knew knew that was good enough and just walked off. So a little bit of Mark Hunt. And there we have the happy corner. Alexander Saranowski, and you've got to say from start to finish, Brad, that was an exquisite performance. Yeah, but very comfortable. You, 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 you seem comfortable uh, on the feet. You saw in the first round, you, you hurt, uh, hurt Patia with a good body shot, and then when he hit the mat, he was very, very calm and collective on top. You know, and, uh, didn't do it, didn't take many risks, and then, then you saw he get back to the field on, 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 in the third round. Just really early, I think it was within the first first 30 seconds of, of, of the third round, he just caught Patia coming in. Patia switched his stance to a south boy, got caught with a beautiful overhand right, and then he dropped, and that was all she wrote. Brilliant way to kick off the main card here at ACA 103. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie. 38 seconds of round number three. Your winner by Alexander Sarnowski.